The recruitment tactics that cults use to lure in unsuspecting victims are incredibly manipulative. The vast majority of cult recruits are ordinary people who get tricked into joining their group based on false promises. Cults aren't necessarily a religion either. They can be a business or even a political group. The common thread among all cults is that they expect followers to personally sacrifice their normal lives in exchange for acceptance into the group. Cult leaders are usually very charming and charismatic and they know how to find a person's weakness and slowly convince them to give up their money and all their ties to friends and family in exchange for being part of their group. In this video, we will examine six popular ways that cults recruit new members. Stay tuned, this is Mind Guild. Number one, online dating sites. If you've read the news and you do a Google search, it's not hard to find cases where online dates have turned into nightmares for good people. Unfortunately, cults have found many of the ingredients at online dating sites that they seek in a potential new cult member. They find people who have very strong desires, which is to find their soulmate, and they use those desires as a weakness. To make matters even worse, many people on these dating sites are still hurting from previous relationships, which makes them even more vulnerable and needy. A skilled, charismatic cult member joins the online dating site and finds these vulnerable men and women and gradually influence and persuade them to their radical ideas and offer them a group where they will be accepted. While the vast majority of people registered at these online dating sites are sincere, it pays to exercise caution when using them. Number 2. Anime in 1995, the Om Shinrikyo cult killed 13 people with sarin gas and permanently injured thousands of others in the Tokyo subway system. Not long before this terrorist attack, the organization paid to get their own series of animated films to play on TV. The anime starred their leader, Shoko Asahara. He claimed that he was the son of God and that he could see visions of Armageddon. The anime featured his outlandish claims, like his apparent ability to astral project during meditation, where his spirit could fly above Tokyo to see and know everything. Number 3. College Campuses Almost everyone in their teens and twenties begin to question their parents and the rest of society. This can result in a sort of rebellious phase in their life or they seek a better way of life than how they were raised. So what better place for cult members to find new recruits than a college campus? According to an investigation by The Guardian and the Cult Information Center in the United Kingdom, there are over 500 active cults, and the majority of them use college campuses for recruitment. Usually, a cult member will invite someone to a Bible study or another innocent gathering on campus or they approach someone standing alone and begin what seems like an intellectual or philosophical conversation. According to colleges.com, the same thing is incredibly common in the United States as well. Number 4. Pyramid Schemes A pyramid scheme is a business that promises its members massive wealth and success. The members are required to spend their own money buying a supply of the company's product and then they try to sell it to their family and friends. Salespeople on the lowest level of the pyramid are encouraged to recruit their friends as well. The more people they recruit, the higher up in ranking they become. People at the top of this pyramid make the most and the people at the bottom typically lose money because they are buying products they can't seem to sell to anyone. This typically puts people into massive amounts of debt. These groups often cultivate peer pressure and loyalty and they make it incredibly difficult for anyone to get out. Number 5. Self-Improvement Workshops The self-help industry made $9.9 billion in 2017 alone. 
Obviously, plenty of people out there looking to improve themselves. Many people also go to the extent of attending workshops and sem seminars. One particular group issued promises to empower women and help them lose weight. Then they were made to feel like they were joining a secret society that was destined for greatness. Another group required women to pose for nude photos during the initiation process. And then they used the photos to blackmail them later into joining their cult for life. Number six, bands. Musicians and bands sometimes have what is known as a cult following. Usually that phrase isn't meant to be taken literally, except that bands and cults have lots of similarities. Some bands take these cult practices to whole new levels. Many bands attract lots of young women as their following. There was one such band in the Far East who began using these women as sex slaves. In fact, they had strict requirements for any woman who wanted to become one of their followers. We thank you for taking time out to watch our video. If you enjoyed this video, we would appreciate it if you would hit the like button below and leave a comment about your thoughts. And don't forget to share it with some of your friends. Also, be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss future discussions. Until next time, this is MindGuild.